YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Pop Shavakadu. It's been a minute, you guys. We haven't posted videos for two weeks now, but we're back at it again with our weekly videos. And on today's particular video, we have an awesome video lined up for Funko Pop hunting. So we are based in the Houston area. So there are some stores that do have some sales today for 4th of July. And there's some new Funko stores that we haven't been to that we're excited to see um, what inventory they have or what characters or pops you might find. So we're gonna take you guys along with us. If you aren't already following us on uh, Instagram or Facebook, we pretty much post all our Funko adventures there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start this video. Shabagadi family, so we're here at our first stop. Um, this is our local comic book store. It's called Atomic Monkey. We do like going to this particular uh, shop because they do have a variety of Funko Pops for sale. So we're gonna go ahead and go inside and see what they have today. As you can see, this is a collector's paradise. They have many Funko Pops, comics, figurines for sale. Pretty much everything that's collectible, they have it there. For July 4th, they did have a sale, 30% off on every Funko Pop. This was an awesome haul from Atomic Monkey, uh, Shivakadu family. We happened to pick up a full set of some vaulted Funko Pops. Um, for this particular show, I remember watching this as a kid. It was such an action-packed show. It was fun growing up with these characters. Um, it was so cool that we happened to find all of them as a complete set at Atomic Monkey. So we can't wait to show you guys what they are. So we're on our way to the next store right now. So let's go. I wasn't able to record all of Culture Shock because it was such a big store. But this one in particular is their Funko Pop section. As you can see, there's so many Funko Pops for sale. You got rows and rows of Funko Pops. What I really like about Culture Shock is that they did have this area for Funko Pops $20 and above. As you can see, they put these Funko Pops behind glass containers. That way, no one can really touch them. You could just ask to see them in person. We also have passed by a Hot Topic, but there was nothing there. So, Shivagadu family, we just finished our stop at Culture Shock at Bayburg Mall. There are so many pops. If you're here in the Houston area, I recommend to go ahead and check out their store. It was our second day of opening. But we're here at our second stop at Target. Hopefully we could see a Blacklight Eddie that everyone's been finding at their local Target. So it'll be a cool piece to take home with us if we could find it. So you guys have Bakugan here. It's not a lot on the shelf, it's pretty empty. They got the office. I think it's pretty much cleared out actually. For a few pieces, you got your Seinfeld here, Target exclusive. Get your Andy. Other than that, it's just pretty much wiped out, guys. For this particular target, you guys, this was kind of a bust. Um, there were no pops on the shelf. It was pretty much empty. But we did happen to get some a la carte, some cuisine food from Target. So breakfast, not breakfast, but food of Funko Hunters. We got some pepperoni pizza with some... Uh, cherry, uh, Dr. Pepper. This is Sprite. We got some Sprite and some bread sticks of the back. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, take a break for right now, uh, chow down, and we come, we'll come back with some more content. As you guys can see, we're here at the Funko section at Walmart. They have a crazy Space Jam section. They got a full set of mystery minis, <clears throat> some keychains. Some cool, I think like figurines and like action. No, it says a bag clip. Bag clips? Yeah. So I know uh, a lot of you guys are trying to this one. It has a sign film one. No soup for you. Bundle tea with pop. And we got some uh, mutual libres, um, some stripes, dumb and dumber, and some Mortal Kombat. Here, guys. We have some Deadpool. The ones that we mentioned earlier, of course, they got the 10 inch blue. And we got the Mega Strike of Captain America. This huge. And we are back here at the headquarters. So, 
Shavakadu family, we had so much fun doing this particular video. Um, this will be first of many that we are going to do for the channel. I think it's so fun showing you guys um, what we have here locally in Houston. So to begin um, our review or to begin our whole video of what we picked up, um, for the first item, this is our first official dorms of the collection. Um, and this will be on number 249. Um, the Green Lantern and this is such a fun Funko product as you guys can see this is a Chase limited edition of the Green Lantern I think the Dorbs uh, series of Funko products are so fun and quirky I just like how they're very oblong and if you guys can see that they're smiling so that's such a unique touch to this particular product um, we did pick this up at the new location of Culture Shock in Willowbrook Mall. Um, it's, it was their second day of opening. Um, it was such a big store as you guys can see. Um, I've been to the original location in Baybrook Mall. It's not as jam-packed with pops or grails. But I feel like since, you know, it's their second day opening, they're still trying to get sell in and getting all the inventory in. So we might have to go back and check it out once everything is settled. But I do have a lot of high hopes for that particular store. So who knows what they have next. The following pops that you guys will see next are the pops that we picked up in Atomic Monkey. Um, for the first pop, this is miscellaneous because we did pick up a set, a vaulted set of a particular show. So I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. But for the first pop, it's number 31. And this is an awesome character, the predator. And look how awesome this this uh, Fungo Pop is. It's such cool that they incorporate all the details of predator. You can see his his sword and his armor. Um, I highly recommend you guys um, watching the Alien vs Predator series or any of the movies. I think it's such an awesome sci-fi thriller. I remember um, watching the one with. I think the original Predator was with Arnold and one of the coolest scenes of the movie is when Arnold disguised himself in mud so he cannot be seen in Predator's thermal vision. That was such a crazy uh, idea that Arnold did. So this would be on number 31. Um, if you guys, I know Halloween's coming up, this would be a good pop to have in your guys' collection. And for the main event, uh, the one I've been so excited it was so funny how they all happened to be in one spot or all of them were in the same location at uh, atomic monkey um, this would be on the cool mighty morphin rangers um, by far one of the best power ranger series uh, to start off we have number 407 the pink ranger And man, I just think the whole aesthetic and design of these Power Rangers are cool. Uh, for this particular pop, this is a Hot Top exclusive. Um, for those who are interested in collecting these particular pops, um, there are three series or three collections of this particular Power Rangers. There's the original ones, those are like the first release of Power Rangers. Um, I, this is not that particular set, but we have the second one. For the second set, um, this is the particular metallic series. You guys can see, um, you can see Pink Ranger is very shiny. It does bring out the design and the, and the characteristics of their suits and armor. Um, they do have a regular version. It's you know the common uh, Funko Pop of the Power Rangers. Uh, they did have it there at Atomic Monkey, but I just feel like the metallic ones are much cooler. You know, they have a cool design and appearance. If you guys are trying to collect these pops, I think these particular pops will increase over the next few months. I know that Funko, um, their license with, I think it's, I'm not too sure who it is, but their license with this particular company who designed Power Rangers did expire. So they would no longer be making these Funko Pops, but they are vaulted too. And the original release date is 2016. So 
I do highly recommend you guys pick them up if you can. The next one is number 361, the Black Ranger. And for this particular Funko Pop, um, he is the common one. I don't think they have a metallic version of the Black Ranger. But just seeing them all together, it just reminded me of my childhood. I think, uh, wake, I remember waking up every weekend morning or weekday morning and just watching this on the TV while I eat my cereal before school. And it's just so action-packed and so cool when they transform, they have morphin' time or when they get into their robots and they combine together. I think that was really cool seeing that as a kid. Um, the next one is number 363. This is a GameStop exclusive of the Blue Ranger. So, so Shivagli family, go ahead and leave down in the comments, you know, uh, which one's your favorite Ranger. I think they're all cool, especially this particular series, they're all metallic. It's so awesome, you guys. And of course, we have the Fearless Leader, number 406. This is a Hot Top exclusive of the Red Ranger. For the final two pops of this collection, um, um, they are um, number 362 on the Yellow Ranger. But what's so unique about this particular pop, um, the, uh, I still don't know um, particularly if it's a manufacturing defect or they intentionally um, made this Funko Pop like that. But this is a GameStop exclusive of two awesome yellow rangers. So as you guys can see, um, if you look closely, um, one of them is more bronze than the other. I believe it's this one. Um, I'm not too sure if, once again, if it's a manufacturing defect, but I think it's so cool that, you know, it's a different coloration. This is a more rare one, um, if you could find this one. But the regular metallic Yellow Ranger looks like this. But it happened that they have both of them, so I had to go pick up both for the uh, for the collection. I think it's pretty cool. And a cool touch. So this does complete um, our haul of Atomic Monkey Culture Shock. As a side note, you guys. Um, I forgot to mention, if you are trying to complete this whole set, there are two rangers that we are missing. Um, we are missing the green ranger. I know the green ranger comes in two um, variants. There's the common one and uh, the common one and the metallic one. But the metallic one is a toy Tokyo show exclusive, and they also come with a shared sticker. But if you guys are trying to get the grail of grails of um, Power Rangers. I think the one that's the most expensive is the White Ranger. That is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, limited to 480 pieces. I think that particular Funk Pop is around $1,000, so I think he is the highest one. But of course, you know, they have their sub variants of other Rangers like Unmasked Green Ranger Tommy or stuff like that. But I guess if you guys are trying to to collect the core set, those are the two Funko Pops that you would have to get, including these. So I had to share that guys with you before the end of this video. If you guys aren't already following us on Instagram and Facebook, please, if you do follow us, we pretty much post awesome pics. If you aren't, um, if you didn't see our pics last week, we did some challenges. Those are pretty, some five pictures that we took. Um, we post all our Funko Ventures there, and until next time, I'm Pop Shivak, dude, and I'll see you guys later.